Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Today we will continue on compound interest. So this one we will focus on special cases and more examples based on compound interest. Focus on first special case, interest rate change in the middle of the period. What does it mean? So look at this example. RM5000 is invested at 6.5% compounded monthly for the first 5 years and 7.5% compounded quarterly for the next 5 years. Find the amount at the end of the 10 years of investment period. Means you have 10 years of investment period but the interest rate for the first 5 years 6.5% and the rest of investment period is 7.5% means that the interest rate change in the middle of the period. So look at this number line. Start from here, then here is 5 years. This one is 10 years. So first one, the K value, the interest rate K equal to 6.5%. Meanwhile, the rest of 5 years, the interest rate equal to 7.5%. So, how we want to calculate the total amount at the end of the investment period? First, list all the values like this. So, the principal value 5000. M means the frequency based on the word compounded monthly. So compounded monthly means that the M value equal to 12. Then the interest rate equal to 6.5%. So this one, first T. So first T based on year. So how many years? 5 years. Okay, then based on the info of K and M, we can calculate the value of I which is 0.05 over 12 and last one and a value equal to 60 after that we can calculate the total amount or the future value for the first five years substitute all the values at the end the total amount equal to rm 6914.09 so this one based on the first five years so how to calculate the amount at the end of the 10 years of investment period. First, you may list all the information. So this one, new P. So how we want to identify we have the new principal value based on first future value calculated based on for the first 5 years. So this one, the future value will become principal value. Next, the value of frequency based on the word compounded quarterly. That's why M here equal to 4. Next, the interest rate here, 7.5%. T. So T, 10 minus 5. So that's why here T equal to 5. Okay, from K and M, we can calculate the value of periodic interest rate, 0 0.05 over 4. And last information here is number of interest period, denoted by N. So, 4 times 5 equal to 20. Then, we can calculate the future value. So, the future value at the end of the 10 years of investment period equal to RM10025.07. So, this one, step by step, how to calculate the future value or the maturity value for compound interest if the interest rate change in the middle of the period. Okay, now we proceed to second special case, the amount of investment change in the middle of the period. So here we will look at when the investment added in the middle of the period. 
Look at this example. A year ago, Mr. G deposited RM4,500 in a bank that pays 9.5% interest rate compounded semi-annually for 5 years. Today, he makes additional deposit of RM3,000. Find the amount he would receive in his account at the end of the maturity period. So, look at here. First, Mr. G deposited RM4,500 a year ago. But today, he makes additional deposit of RM3,000. So, how we want to calculate the future amount or the future value at the end of the investment period? So, look at here. As usual, List all the information given but based on a year ago means the first year. That's why here the term T equal to 1. Okay, next, using this information, we can calculate the future value for the first year. Substitute all the information then the future value for the first year of the investment period equal to RM4937.65. So, remember that this future value based on principal value equal to 4500 and the investment period equal to one year. But when he makes additional deposit, how many years? Five years. We have calculated for one year. So the balance for four years, how we want to calculate? We need to find the new P here. So the new P based on the future value for the first year plus the additional deposit here 3000 therefore new principal value equal to 7937.65 then the frequency and also the nominal interest rate is same but the term here is change so how we want to calculate for how many years of the investment period? 5 years. So, 5 minus 1. That's why T equal to 4. I is same as previous. But the number of interest period here is 8. So, using this new information, calculate the future value. Substitute all the information at the end. The amount Mr. G would receive in his account at the end of the investment period equal to RM11506.00. So, this one, step by step, how we want to calculate the future value when the amount of investment added in the middle of the investment period. But what happened if the amount of investment deducted in the middle of the period? So look at this example. Three years ago, Adam deposited RM4000 into an account that pays 5% interest rate compounded every four months. Today, he took out RM1000 from the account. Calculate the balance in his account 2 years 6 months after he took out RM1000. So, look at here. First, 3 years ago, Adam deposited RM4000. So, that one, P equal to 4000. But, today, he took out RM1000 from the account. Means, from the future value. At the end of 3 years, we need to deduct RM1000. So, how we want to calculate the balance in his account 
2 years 6 months after he took out RM1000. So, look at here. Let's see. Here is start. Adam deposited the principal value. And then, this one, the term is 3 years. So, from this investment period, the principal value equal to 4,000. But, at this term, he took up RM1,000. Next, what happened or what is the balance in his account 2 years, 6 months? So, 2 years, 6 months as equal to what value? So, how you want to solve this example as usual? List all the information given. Then, we calculate the future value or the maturity value after 3 years. So, the future value equal to RM4641.6. Then, he took out RM1000. So, here, from this future value, minus 1000. So, that one become new principal value. So, new principal value, we need to calculate the balance here is based on 3641.6. How many term? 2.5 years. Based on this statement, 2 years, 6 months. So, T equal to 2.5. So, next, we can calculate the future value. Substitute all the values. Then, at the end, the maturity value or the future value at the end of 2 years, 6 months equal to RM4122.22. So, this one, how you want to calculate the future value if the amount of investment deducted in the middle of the investment period. We now focus on how to find the future value. On Michaela's sixth birthday, her father deposited RM2000 in a savings account that earned 8.5% interest compounded every four months. Find the amount on her 21st birthday and the interest earned. So this one, what we need to calculate is two values. First is the amount on her 21st birthday and second one is the interest earned. How to solve this example? List all the information given. First, principal value equal to 2000. So this one based on the word deposited RM2000. Okay, next information here is 8.5% given in percentage. So that one always interest rate. That's why K equal to 0 0.085. Next information here is compounded every four months. So this one, the word compounded refer to frequency value, which is M equal to 3. How M becomes 3 based on this calculation? Compounded every four months means divide by 4. That's why M equal to 3. Okay, next information here is find the amount on her 21st birthday. So this one, you can calculate the value of T based on this information. 21 and 6. So T here, 21 minus 6 equal to 15. Okay, next you can calculate periodic interest rate. I, which is 0 0.085 over 3. And last information that we need to solve this example is the value of number of interest period N. So 3 times 15 equal to 45. Okay, first, we need to find the value of S. 
are the future value or the maturity value using this formula substitute all the values then the final answer of the amount on on her 21st birthday equal to rm 7031.63 okay after we calculate the future value what we need to calculate is the interest earned so we call this formula interest equal to future value minus principal value so substitute all the values at the end the interest earned equal to rm 5031.63 so this one the example how to find the future value and the interest value of compound interest okay guys next example is how to find the value of nominal interest rate aslan invested rm 5200 in a bank that offers interest rate of r percent compounded quarterly for three years the total amount in his account will be accumulated to rm 6993.42 at the end of the investment period find the value of r so how we want to find the value of r as usual list all the information given the principal value equal to 5200 next information is r percent so given in percentage so that one is nominal interest rate next information here is compounded quarterly therefore the frequency value equal to for three years so three years here means the value of t equal to three and last information here is the future value equal to 6993.42 so using the value of m and t we can calculate the number of interest period here and so n equal to mt therefore n equal to 12 but we can't calculate the value of i because the nominal interest rate is the unknown therefore i equal to r over 4 okay next proceed to how to find the value of r using this formula substitute all the values then for 5200 zero, zero, move to the left side become like this okay next look at here power of 12 how we want to solve this equation so use this concept so power of 12 at the right side so at the left side becomes 12 root okay next we can calculate the value of i so i equal to 0 0.025 is it final answer not yet why aim of this example is we want to find the value of r therefore using this equation i equal to r over 4 substitute i equal to 0 0.025 here then r equal to 0 0.1 so this one the value of r in decimal form we need to convert to percentage form so 0 0.1 times 100 equal to 10 percent Therefore, R equal to 10% is the final answer for this example. So, this one, step by step, how to find the value of nominal interest rate, which is denoted by K. Okay, so how to use calculator to solve this one? 
press stop first then look at here yellow color press shift then this one then substitute 6993.42 over 5200 so 6993.42 over 5200 close bracket equal okay and then this one right side one plus i so one plus i the unknown is i therefore move this one the value of one from right side to the left side so positive become negative so minus one equal therefore i equal to 0 0.025 then calculate r so here how you want to calculate r 0 0.025 times 4 so equal to 0 0.1 then times 100 therefore r equal to 10 percent next example is how to find the value of term using this example Lina deposited RM10,000 in a bank that offers interest rate of 5% compounded semi-annually for 3 years. The future value in her account will be accumulated to RM12,800.85 at the end of the maturity period. Find the value of T. Previous example, find the value of K. This one, find the value of T. So first, list all the information given. So, here. The number of interest period become 2T. Using this formula, same formula for compound interest, substitute all the values then look at here n become 2t so n substitute as 2t next step 10,000 from the right side to the left side ok like that how to solve 2t so power of 2t we have to apply or we must use the logarithm concept so use log 10 like that so 2t here become coefficient of 1.025 so both side left and right log 10 so this one log 10 next step here is to find the t value therefore t equal to 5 years so you can check either t equal to 5 is a correct answer or not by substitute t right here so therefore n equal to 2 times 5 equal to 10 next substitute 10 right here Next step, soft for the right side. If you got, find the answer for the right side equal to 12800.85 means that the value of T equal to 5 years is a correct answer. So this one, start by start, how to find the value of T. Okay, so how to solve this one to get t equal to 5 years? So using this calculator, press log, just 1.280085 divide by log 1.025, then equal, okay, got 10. 
0.00001442. So here 2t. So 2 move to the left side. Divide by 2. Therefore, t equal to 5. Okay guys, let's try to do these question questions and at the end you may check the answers. That's all about the compound interest. Assalamualaikum.